क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कैथोड रेज एज वेल एज द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द कैथोड रेज एंड नाउ इन दिस टॉपिक लेट मी टॉक अबाउट द एनोड रेज सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस टॉपिक दैट हाउ द एनोड रेज इज बीन फॉर्म्ड एंड हाउ इट इज ऑपोजिट टू दैट ऑफ द कैथोड रेज सो नाउ लेट गेट स्टार्टेड सो फ्रेंड्स टू फॉर्म एनोड रेज द थिंग दैट वी नीड इज वी हैव टू get the setup that is what we have discussed in the previous one that is for the cathode ray discharge tube so in this case also the discharge tube is very much similar to that of the discharge tube from which we have obtained and we have that is got to know about how the cathode rays are basically negatively charged and similarly here also we are going to talk about but before that let me talk about a particular discharge tube we understand that is a particular discharge tube consist of a gas that is basically present in it at a low pressure but because of the high voltage supply power supply we could find that is the gas it glows up but in this case basically the gas it will get ionized also consider one of the gas i am considering here as m suppose by supplying the high voltage basically stream of electrons we could find that is whenever this electron is bombarded on this gaseous atom obviously the one electron that is basically present in the outermost orbit of the gaseous atom it will get removed and that is how basically the gaseous atom it will get ionized and this ionized gas is nothing but it has a positive charge that makes to be called as the anode particle or it is also called to be a positive particle so that's the reason here basically we are going to talk about the positive particle and that is nothing but the anode rays and let us understand with the help of a particular diagram that how the anode rays are been produced anode rays also known as positive rays or canal rays can be understood with the help of this diagram so this diagram is nothing but it is very much similar to that of the discharge tube from which we have got to know about the cathode rays so here also here at this point you could find that is the anode which is basically fused in this discharge tube and here also that is there is cathode but this cathode is not a regular disc cathode obviously here basically there are many pores in it which is called to be perforated disc cathode so and here there is a power supply that is high voltage power supply that is of 5000 to 10000 volt and similarly the process goes on and in this basically discharge tube there is presence of a particular gas especially suppose hydrogen gas and in that case basically at low pressure when we supply this power that is of high voltage through this tube we could find the gas that is the hydrogen gas that is basically present in it obviously it will get ionized into h plus that is ion and the negatively charged that is cathode ray it will travel towards the anode while the positively charged particles now they are in the form of a rays so therefore they will enter through this pore and they will hit this part of the glass and this part it will glow and that is how basically goldstein have concluded that is the anode rays or basically known as the canal rays because they are passing through this perforated disc those are having a positive charge and this is how basically the protons were been discovered and he have gave the name as protons so that's it so this was related to the anode rays also known as positive rays So thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ekra channel thank you so much